Good morning. Gosh, you guys know me. I'm gonna get I right off of the top of a dream. I will um and those of you who are, who have joined, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Those of you who um are new, I hope you subscribe. Please do. I welcome you. Um you guys know me whenever I've got this voice here. Because when I wake up off a dream or wake up off of somewhere, I um I immediately sorry. I guess I should be more presentable. Go to my phone to start recording because I it's still fresh in me. And I can still remember the dream. Are, um, the thing, the thing I'm supposed to talk about. And I, I believe they're all messages from God. I was just watching the other day. Again, I tell you, I watched Susan Summer videos, but I was just watching her family the other day and, um, about her beautiful family, her beautiful granddaughter, Violet, that did something um, really nice when there was a big storm on the boat and she went to comfort everyone and hug everyone. And I totally agree with Caroline, her mom. I totally agree that's a message from a higher power, from, from the Lord, to why she did that. But um, getting back into, whoa, how on that cat? That's what cats do. <laughs> Beautiful family. Go watch Suzanne Summers. Um, that's what cats do sometimes. They can get annoyed. And when I woke up this morning, I was just thinking about... Um, and I was recalling my mother's, my mom's last days and some things that, you know, when you look at things, when you have to go through these things, you see things and, um, sometimes they're just uh, so sad and sometimes they're, they're, I know this is going to sound kind of like, what? I don't you mean they're they're that way to, but uh, sometimes it's they're like a, a path for the soul to take when it is leaving the body okay and it's a couple of things I talk about these things I, I welcome all of you if believe or not to join because I believe in our experiences, we have relatable experiences that we can each relate to. So, you know what? That happened to me. Or, yeah, that happened to me. You know, that happened to me. That's happening to me, you know? And um, in her last days, as I was watching her, she was so vivid because it's the only thing my mother in her last days could remember when she would wake up her dreams and she would tell me them she would tell me them play by play what I mean is she would tell me them image by image and she was so I was like how in the heck how in the heck do you remember what your dreams are like that because I don't even remember my dreams I wake up and that's it <laughs> I don't know if you guys can follow me but I'll dream something and Sometimes I'll, I'll, the only way I, the only thing I remember, if, if the dream was dark and it seemed like it was a mean dream, you know, like, oh God, I'm so glad I'm awoke. I don't want to go back there, but I don't remember the specifics of it. And when, it, or if it's a light dream, like I'll remember, oh guys, come on, <laughs> give me a break, kitties, please. <laughs> I, I'm going, I'm coming to play with you. I'm going to get everything you need, your temptations, everything. But um, are you remember when the dream is a light? You know, it was fun, loving. I wish I could go back. I know, you know. But my mom was remembering every specific detail in her dreams, and I thought it was some of them were good, and the ones that were bad. She, you know, I don't talk about. But she was waking up remembering in the mom. And I just thought about something there when we do that. And I've researched after that as well. When the dying do that, 
their body is preparing for their soul to leave. The soul is becoming more accustomed to what the spiritual life is. So it starts to remember what is in the spiritual world. And I really do think we visit the spiritual world every time we dream. And God has protection. He has a, a cap on it so that we will not get lost in that world because we are we are in the body. We are in the body, those of us that are in the body. But when we dream, when we're leaving, we're and we remember so vivid, we remember so vivid, you know, especially for those that are not going to be for any longer. I think it's preparing the body because just telling soul, okay, this is your time. Okay. There's, there's a lot of other things that happened. There's, um, I had explained to you how my mom was having a conversation with the Lord and I will still not tell the details of that because that's between her and God. And I, I knew it was the Lord only because my mom said, yes, Lord. And at that time <laughs> I was in her room tending to her at that time. I was like, ah, it's time for me to exit because I did not want to be in the midst of such a personal conversation between my mother and the Lord, but just the mere fact he was talking to her and it was, I can draw the basis of that. God is very forgiving and we all have done wrong for anyone to say they're perfect. They're right there. You did something wrong. No, there's nothing perfect. And, um, he, and she said, yes, Lord. And one in that, it was like, I apologize somehow in that. And he was still talking to her. And if you're way off in the other side of God, out there, he would stand talking to you. And he showed me so many affirmations. You agree, huh? Again, he shows me so many. That's my cat, by the way. Affirmations and others of his care, love, and concern. So yes, when you, you see this, be confident and know that your loved one, when they start vividly remembering their dreams, seeing people that's not there and you're like they ain't there i don't see them talking in their sleep moving their lips their their eyes aren't moving but they're moving and talking to someone are they making motions with their hands there's a video like that like they're hugging someone i'm not gonna stand to no that they are prepared to visit a realm that is well beyond ours and it's going to be so comforting and so peaceful and so loving and so nothing like what this world was and they're not going to be in any more pain they're not going to be in it it's only love it's only love i see that heart i see it and that's why they're so vividly remembering so well in their dreams the other side because they're embark they're embarking they're going to embark into that journey it's beautiful and uh yes yeah, one thing i thank god that my mom is no longer in all that pain and she no longer has to be in such a world sadly we've we've got to change our ways we've got to be that start we can't talk about everyone else we've got to be that start she's in a world that will not allow it that's nothing but peace unity and love. Thank you all for watching. Until next time.